Hello there folks and welcome to another Shots Fired Airsoft video. My name is Ben and in this video we're going to have a little bit of a closer look at the Symer CM357 AM shotgun. Uh, last video on the channel was the unboxing of this uh, little short shotgun and this is going to include sort of my final thoughts and uh, the shooting footage that I got from this down at the range. Okay, so uh, just a brief overview uh, for those of you that may not watch the unboxing. I do recommend you go and have a look at it. I've looked at this weapon in a sort of uh, more detail. Uh, this is very much purely a uh, sort of review of how it fires and any issues I may have had with it. Um, so first thing is obviously I've got an extra shell in there. That is an old Simer um, shell out of one of the other ones. <laughs> got a bit of silicon oil on it, so I keep it in my sort of supplies bag. Um, I had no issues at all with the shotgun, it fired immaculately, never misfed, um, and it was a brilliant little piece of kit to play with. The only real issue I've got with this is it has no sighting whatsoever out of the box. Obviously I have a rail to put a red dot sight on it and that, but the, the style of shotgun it is, you are looking at a, a sort of from the hip fired shotgun. Um, in the firing footage, I pretty much have it in front of my face just to try and make sure that I actually get the shots on target and I'm reacting purely to where the BBs are going. Um, so if I put the footage up on screen uh, just now, you can see that as I'm firing it, I have got it right in front of my face and the target is I mean, getting shredded gradually. It's a, it's a good display. These three barrels firing in unison they fire perfectly and all three bbs fire the same uh trajectory which is fantastic and they do gradually spread out a bit as the uh as the shots make their way down the range uh, one thing that i will say with this is having tested this particular shotgun um, i use a 0.25 ground bb for the uh, firing test so normally i use a, a 10 to use a 0.2 just because it's like industry standard However, these shotguns have a fixed hop and they will over hop depending, or, or over hop or under hop depending on uh, what weight of BB you use. So in this one, I use 0.25 because when I set range tested it, and by the way, this will hit after like 35, 40 meters with the correct BB. It's actually quite got quite a long distance to it. Um, uh, 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 0.2 is over hopped and 0.25s travel in a nice straight trajectory, so that's what I selected. During the firing test, I did try a bit of uh, slam fire, so that's uh, holding the trigger down and then pumping the shot grip. It just kind of removes the extra step of pumping, then pulling the trigger, pumping, then pulling the trigger. You just hold the trigger down and rack the pump backwards and forwards, and you, it fires every time it hits the front position and then loads the next shot. You can fire 30 BBs out of this thing doing that in a couple of seconds. It has actually really got quite a quick fire rate. Uh, the pump isn't too stiff. Um, like it can be on some of the lower grade shotguns and uh, particularly the, the um, uh, Symer low end shotguns because they are quite powerful. That was great. Didn't have any issues loading and unloading the shells other than my own cat handedness as you'll see as you saw in the firing footage. And this sling point is nice and secure. You, you can go sling it through a decent strap and the strap's going to break before that pulls out the back of the gun. Shell holder worked fantastic. Didn't have a loose shell all the time I was used, using it. And like I say, the only real issue is I really feel like this could have done with being a, a sighted rail. So even if you had like a, a little pistol grip or something like that, but most of the time this will be you know, down at your hip and you'll just be racking shots out of it. And it will get the job done, particularly at close range. Um, if you do want to use one of these competitively, I can highly recommend one of these. Um, this is my Battle Axe. Uh, there is just PB in the front, but it's not on tension. Uh, this is my Battle Axe 1200 round uh, shotgun drum. So it has an MH70 adapter on. And I actually have uh, used this before in my uh, 8871 Golden Eagle uh, sawn off uh, gas shotgun. And this just turns it into an absolute animal because you, you just don't have to reload. This has got sound control on it and is battery wound. 
Um, so you just keep firing it, really. <laughs> and it will just keep winding. Uh, I think the, uh, the A871's got a slightly smaller gas reservoir than the uh, larger um, Golden Eagle gas shotguns. But you're looking at around uh, 70 to 80 shots before you have to actually put gas in it. And then you just put gas in it. So this is, this is a bit of a cheat mode um, magazine. But it certainly gets the job done. And this would fit in here as well if you simply uh, remove the shell door which is not that difficult to do and then you could just run around springing and firing to your heart's content so overall this is an absolute recommended must buy it is quite expensive for a spring shotgun uh, it's around uh, 95 ish pounds i believe um, i say i bought this from patrol base because it was one of the few places i've ever seen it in stock um, these are available quite freely on the continent if you want to deal with european postage but even at that price this is going to last quite a long time it feels very um, well constructed and if you're into shotguns as a style of play uh, I like to rush um, sort of CQB and take people by surprise a lot of people are very uh, what's the word um, conservative um, so rushing them with something like this will often you'll, <laughs> you, you'll generally get a shot off before someone's finished panicking about the fact you're running towards them with a boomstick um, at least in my experience of playing with the guys that I play with um, so yeah I uh, high recommendation for me it's a lovely little shotgun do recommend some sort of sight um, just because if you are doing any target shooting or if you're at longer range you are going to need some help with the aiming um, but for running into a room hit firing this is absolutely fantastic okay so I've been Ben it's been the Shots Fired Airsoft video um, and stay tuned for a lot more coming up on the channel and uh, I hope I'll see you in the next video thank you very much